Hi guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoor Survival and Hampshire Hog Hunters. It's Mitch and Mac here. So we're out today. This is part of our series, Wild Camping 101. Well, we're coming out and we're discussing getting started in wild camping. How do you start? How do you do your shelters? Where do you go? How do you set up? How do you get organised? Well, the first thing is welcome. Welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, share. You know, it really helps us out. And today, where we are, we're in a public woodland that is owned by a local authority. Okay, it does have a campsite over there that could be booked, but everything over here is ancient woodlands. Okay, we've not booked the campsite because we're not camping. However, we will be putting up a shelter just to show you how to put a basic basher up. Anyhow, guys, enjoy the video. This is Mick and Mitch and Mac. do for a spot. This is Mitch. Welcome to the woods. So we're up here today, me and Mac, Hampshire Outdoors Survival, Hampshire Hog Hunters, and what we're going to be doing is covering wild camping. So as you see, lovely chestnut tree, gives a bit of shade, bit of shelter, overhangs, check for any heavily laden branches, any damaged branches, make sure nothing's going to crack you on the old noggin. So we're going to use this spot here, we're going to make a quick brew, then we're going to get into basic bashers. Okay, starting from the beginnings, this is Wild Camping Bushcrafting 101 with Mick and Mac. Enjoy. We'll run into that. how you can hide yourself away. So have a look at the holly trees. A lot of large holly trees like that hang over and the boughs reach the ground. They're hollow inside so you can actually get inside and almost disappear. Use the holly as cover and set yourself up in there and again it marsh you from whatever's around you. Okay, People could come past and not even going to notice you there. So look for your natural environment like that chestnut that we were under Look for trees that hang to the ground. Your holly is one of the best. Um, gorse as well, you can use gorse, that tends to be hollow inside. So again, have a look around, see what you've got. Look for your holly bushes. Okay. So, question I was asked, how do I pack my tarp? Okay, so most, most British servicemen with their tarp, don't worry about folding it, they stuff it. Okay, so it stuffs into a sack. This sack I've made again, it's just the bottom leg of a pair of OGs. There's the lace up bit, which is now elasticated. So basically in that bag goes a handful. I normally keep between six and eight pegs, okay? Bungees, all right, it's just a couple of bungees there. 
and then with the top what you tend to do is go one corner one rope okay so you pull the whole thing out of the pack like that and again when packing it away start with a corner and stuff it in okay it's as easy as that and that keeps your top all in one place all nice and simple if you try you can fold it you can roll it there's plenty of really tidy smart ways you can do it with a bit of practice but to be honest with you stuffing it it's always worked for me it's always worked for you and it Matt yeah, simple never, as I've never folded it man. yeah I've never had time to fold it invariably with your top you're looking at taking it down putting it up in a hurry so stuff it into a sack bag whatever you can find that it fits in um, a lot of guys will just use a pouch on the side of the Bergen it stuffs in there along with all the kit and I literally have shelter admin kit all just in that one pouch. Okay, there we go. That's how I pack it away. Right, I'm going to hand you over to Mac. He's going to crack up a quick basic top. Basher. I left the lines on from when we were away the other day, unfortunately, that's my yeah. mess, I do yeah, apologise. Yeah. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use bungees. Okay, doke. This is military style, simple. simple. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously we normally use a guy line but this line first, but this I'll set this one up. This is just gonna be for summer use, yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously the lower and the height can depend on what the weather's like. Bring it down for the winter, not rain. Raise it up to get some air through in the summer. One thing I do keep seeing is people putting their tarps up and not putting a good, decent bit of tension through the centre. Yeah. You've got to get that bit of tension through the centre so as you get run off of the water. But as I say, I've set that up. Not Average height. Yeah. It's going to give you cover, enough cover and enough airflow for this time of year, really. Plus, if it did get a bit of rain, that would be that. But it's just a simple case. We're just pegging it out. Simple as Simple. that. Simple as that. Okay, done. Absolutely brilliant. If you want to talk through that, maybe you can run yeah. us. 
So, as Max says, it's, it's as simple as centre of your top for your ridge line. You've got a bungee there and a bungee there. Okay, and that creates your tension down the centre line. Now you can see on these tops there are two sides. On the other side of that there's a canvas strip with handles, that's the inside. Okay. Summer months it doesn't matter if it's on the outside, but in the winter you want this taped seam really on the outside. Okay. The corners are just pegged out, creating simple tent shelter. Two guys could shelter in that with no problem at all. One will be luxury. Okay. Now you can take it a step further. There's many other variations, modifications you can make to this to change the shape and layout. You can lift the front. Okay. Yeah, I'll you, do that in a minute. Yeah. Sure, I you don't, we'll lift the front in a minute and show you. You get a bit more, bit more air. But as you can see, this shelter will stand up to any wind. Okay. All the time these trees are standing, that won't go anywhere, and it will run the water away from you. So you got your sleep mat in there. You got your bivvy bag this time of year. Don't even bother with a sleeping bag. It's 31 degrees. Just a bivvy bag, just to keep anything off you. Yeah. You're away. You're comfy. Sorted. Right. So that's the first shelter. What I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got a normal basic shelter used by the military worldwide, does the job no matter what the weather. Obviously, when it's a bit warmer, like now, <laughs> uh, we slightly adapt it, and this is how we adapt it quick. And there we have it. Simple shelter for use in the summer, loads of cover, plenty of room under there, protection from the back if it does get a bit windy or a little bit of rain throughout the night. Got a nice angle of it, let the water all run off, and it's fairly well tensioned. Okay, I'll pass this back to Mick. Yeah. So as we see, brilliant shot system. So what you've got there, plenty of airflow underneath there. You've got the shade if you need it. You've also, if you wish to, you could take another stick, place a stick up here. Okay, you can lift the front. You can lift that corner up higher. Make that corner lower if you're in a wet environment. So you get an even better runoff. Okay, in actual fact, we've got a good runoff on there anyhow. The other thing you could do is you could bring those fronts down level if you were looking at water collection. So you made a flat plane on the top, small stone in the centre, you're going to be able to collect water in that overnight. So just bear in mind if you get really heavy rain, obviously you're going to collapse your shelter. What you could do is you could drop one corner so it's water collection, comes down to that one corner, runs off, and if you dropped a line off of it, you could collect the water in a pot, bowl, whatever you wanted, or even a water bottle. If you drop the line into it, the water will run to the corner, run down the line and fill up your water bottle. So again, use it as shelter, use it to collect water. And this sort of shelter system, yeah, it's one of my favourites. It's low enough to keep your body temperature trapped. It's high enough to get air flowing, stop you overheating. And to give you that cover from the wind and from the rain if it does turn wet and nasty. And bear in mind, oh, and bear in mind at the moment, we're in 31 degree heat, 
okay and this is British summertime so we're well so British summertime we're supposed to be cracking into autumn now it's September so this time of year you can get very sudden very heavy thundery downpours that are very localized they would literally build crack off got a massive amount of rain gone in the mornings the last two days although it's been very hot at night been very foggy mornings so you're going to have a high dew count so again a bit of shelter just to keep the dew count off camping wise this sort of weather me and mac both of us neither of us would take a sleeping bag it's just a bivy bag and a roll mat roll mat okay i'm wearing clothing i've got a roll mat i'm comfortable i'm in my bivy bag keeps the bugs critters off and if the weather really gets bad it also keeps the weather off so it's as simple as that nice shelter and these are simple Basher shelters for our wild camping video 101. Happy Mac. So a lot of people say about this MTP they don't like it. I, I actually quite like it. That blends and triangles around around here, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially in autumn. Yeah, autumn's ideal. A uh, little bit of work with the cam net, a little bit of work with that leaf litter, you can make that disappear dead easy. Um, do you know another interesting fact, Matt? These MTP tops, these new ones, are actually larger than the old BPM ones. They're the yeah. same width, just a fraction longer. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you've got your shelter up. Let's go to the basics. Simple roll mat. It's a trick I'm only showing you once, or a tip I'm only showing you once, because for a lot of you guys it's going to be pretty obvious. Roll mat. Clear off any sticks, sticks of debris. I'm not going to bother to do that because it's only a demonstration, but normally I'd sweep that out, get it down to the surface, make it nice. If it's really dusty or dirty, I'll take my poncho, lay my poncho down there as a ground sheet. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. So what do I do? I've got my, my, my roll mat here, okay? And inside my roll mat, rolled up, is my bivy bag, okay? Simple as. Take your roll mat, People always say, oh, it rolls up on me. Reverse it. Simple as that. Roll out the bivy bag. As I said, 31 degrees at the moment. It's warm by night as well. That's all I'm using. It's my bivy bag. It's all I need. Okay, I've got some layer systems. Okay, I can put the layer systems on, crawl into that. I'll be as comfortable as I would need to be. It's windproof and it's waterproof. Okay, so your basics of your kit if you're a beginner and you're starting out. My advice and Max's advice to you British Army tarp. Doesn't matter which one, British Army tarp. Okay. Handful of bungees, get them from a pound shop if necessary. Handful of pegs, you can either make them yourself or you can buy cheap pegs. And invest in a bivy. All right, a bivy bag, the best condition bivy bag you can get. All right, whether it be a military one or a civvy one, doesn't matter, but get yourself a good quality bivy bag. This item, this one item here is the lifesaver. Okay, this will keep you warm. It will keep the wind off, it will keep you dry in almost any conditions, okay? If there's one bit of kit I tell you not to buy cheap, it's going to be your bivy bag. Get the best you can, okay? That's one thing that's always out with us. Both carry them, okay? <laughs> been in situations where if it wasn't for that, it would have been hypothermia or good night Vienna, okay? Bivy bag, essential item. Sleep mats, start with the British Army one. Okay, if you want to get an inflatable, get an inflatable, go with what you want. Inflatables only have one draw, drawback and that is they get punches. That thing will last forever. So again, it's as simple as that. That'll do for a wild camp. On top of that, world your oyster. <sighs> and the bit nobody else ever shows you on their videos, and is as important as the pack up or the build up is a pack down. Okay. Make sure there's no debris on your kit. Hold your 
bivy bag in half, start from the foot end, do it on your sleep mat, roll it up, pushing the air out of it. But it doesn't need to be exact or precise. But a little bit more time doing this, make sure there's no debris on it, there's no leaves, there's no sticks, there's no bugs you're squashing into it. Okay, simple as that. Then grip your sleep mat. Yeah, I tie it with a bow, just like you tie your laces. Makes it easy to undo. My sleep system packed. My bivy bag somewhere I can get to it in an emergency. So, carried on the outside of my bag like that. For an emergency, Matt goes down, come across a casualty or somebody like that, somebody we need to get out of the weather. I can literally repeat, rich in pull it out, use it as shelter straight away. Okay, remember, BB bag's waterproof and windproof. That's the idea of it. So, let's put everything else away. So, let's put everything else away. So, the simplest way of doing this is just literally take your pegs out, I like sling pegs in my pocket because I put them away last. Shelter down. Now, to take your shelter down, just watch out for your eyes with your bungees, okay? Just remember you're letting off a lot of pressure there. You want to be a little bit careful. Last thing you want to do is ping yourself in the face. So, Take one corner of your tarp, okay? Give it a good shake. Get anything that's in there. Now, you can coil your lines up. If you've got permanent lines on there like I have, you can coil them up, tie them off. And all you do, take your bag, take that corner, Start stuff. That's going to take you to your final corner, which has got cordage on it. So, what you want to do with that, come to the end, four fingers, around, 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 loop over yourself, pull your bundle through, pull back, tighten up on it. Right, it's not the best one, but it does the job. That means when I'm taking it out, I'm pulling one corner out, so I can attach that corner to something and literally walk away with the bag, threading it out as I go. Then, on top of that, go my bungees. Now, the next bit's a bit controversial. Some people pack their pegs in their top. I tend not to do that because you're liable to make a hole in your top. Be careful putting your bungees away, bear in mind they're metal. You don't want those to poke through your top. So I have a separate bag that I keep all my pegs in and I keep spare lines in. You know? Don't always 
you're not always going to go to pegs but we'll show that on another video so again that means my top packed away nice small bag i could i could squash that away smaller if i needed to don't need to though so there if you've been out it's wet you packed up in a hurry you're not sure you've got debris on it when you get home open it out hang it across the room just let it dry out it'll last you a lifetime okay don't need to reproof it okay i think i reproofed my last one after about five years okay and that's a simple process and we'll cover that again on another video so there you go top packed away pegs in my hand good to go hey mac is that a new camo outfit you're wearing yeah it's a new tree tree mac the tree camo yeah, Fuck it. Stuff, do you know what that tree camo is awesome look at it i could not see you at all blimey is this tree camo expensive mate it's not cheap, mate. It's not cheap. Okay, uh, If you're wanting the ultimate stealth, the, uh, the stealth. The ultimate stealth. There you go. Tree camouflage by Mac. Get yours now. <laughs> Mickey out. Fucking hell, mate. Right, guys. This has been Mick and Mac, Hampshire Outdoors Survival and the Hampshire Hog Hunters. We're in the Chant Trees just outside Guildford. Had a great afternoon up here having a look around. Um, Basics, or that was um, Wild Camp Basics 101. Some tips, some ideas, and some pointers to help you get you on your on your your move forward. And for those of you that experienced, yeah, I know you've probably seen it all before. Do apologise, but hey, send us a comment, give us a like, let us know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Head us up. What do you want to see in future? Where do you think we should go with this 101? Okay. What would you like to see as a 101, as a beginner's tips and ideas? Guys, please, again, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out, okay? It's a lot of travelling, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of effort goes into this, and we don't get any funding from anybody. We're not making a penny out of YouTube, so with your help, we can improve the channel and push on. And it gives us the encouragement to push on. Guys, love those you do. Forgive those you don't, and as always, peace and light be upon you all. This is Mick and Mac. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Catch you later. Mickey out. Be good, guys.